صباح الخير <coughs> good morning uh, today uh, we are going to talk about uh, uh, the uh, uh, microbiology of the uh, musculoskeletal system and uh, we will start with the uh, bacterial infections uh, to the uh, skin and the musculoskeletal system which uh, includes the uh, uh, muscles uh, as well as uh, the uh, bone uh, as uh, uh, you know that um, uh, in every system that uh, we uh, keep uh, talking about <coughs> uh, we uh, 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 start uh, talking about the uh, bacterial uh, infections uh, to that particular uh, system and here we will talk about bacterial infections uh, to the uh <coughs> sorry to the bone and uh, to the uh, skin and the uh, musculoskeletal system and then uh, then we will move on uh, to talk about uh, the uh, viral infections to the skin and the musculoskeletal system uh, and then after that we'll talk about the fungal uh, and then the uh, parasitic uh, infections uh, and so uh, maybe this is going to take uh, uh, three or uh, four uh, lectures uh, I will uh, uh, keep uh, uh, recording uh, uh, those uh, uh, lectures uh, for you and um, uh, again uh, it's so important to know that uh, uh, those uh, uh, lectures uh, were taken from uh, Shiri's uh, uh, Medical Microbiology and Introduction to uh, Infectious uh, Diseases. So you can go uh, to uh, 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 those lectures in uh, Shiri's uh, and then uh, if you have any questions uh, you can send me an email or uh, talk to me, uh, uh, ask me any question you'd like to. So, uh, as you know that uh, the skin uh, is the uh, largest uh, organ of our body. It's the first line of uh, defense, uh, uh, non-specific uh, type of an immune response. Uh, the outer layer of the skin, as you know, is the stratum corneum, that it is dry and uh, so they can provide uh, protection. Uh, and then we have the uh, uh, dermis that will uh, follow. Uh, and uh, uh, as you know, uh, those are uh, so important for protection and in order uh, for infection to take place, then uh, the organisms, they have to breach this, uh, uh, these uh, uh, defenses. So they have to go through the uh, skin uh, and, and then uh, uh, to cause uh, uh, infection. Uh, uh, of course, those microorganisms must have uh, a virulent factors in order uh, to beat uh, uh, the uh, uh, defenses of our body uh, in the skin or uh, in the bone or uh, even in the uh, muscles. So those, as I said, uh, they are uh, uh, bacteria, uh, viruses or uh, uh, fungi uh, and finally we'll talk about the uh, parasites and as you know that the, in the uh, skin uh, we do have uh, the uh, normal flora uh, which is usually made of uh, 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 gram positive bacteria uh, in, 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 in general uh, and uh, the uh, coagulase negative staph in, in, in particular and some coagulase positive uh, uh, as well uh, and those uh, if they got access into sterile areas in our body uh, then they be could become as an opportunistic type uh, of uh, infections so today we will be talking about some of those opportunists like uh, the staphylococcal staphylococcus uh, aureus for example uh, uh, and how those they can cause uh, uh, infections uh, uh, as well. So those uh, organisms then uh, they have to go uh, uh, through the uh, skin and then from there into the uh, subcutaneous uh, planes and then into the uh, bone and uh, muscle uh, and then uh, after, after that uh, 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 they have to penetrate uh, uh, through the skin, through a, a wound, for example. Uh, 
like uh, for example the uh, decubitus ulcers uh, so any uh, discontinuity of the skin uh, could lead to, to uh, uh, infection so this is really uh, uh, important uh, uh, to know other modes of infection besides penetrating uh, through the uh, skin and going to the skin then into the our body uh, is through the blood uh, and so uh, these microorganisms through what we call the hematogenous uh, uh, spread uh, uh, then they can go uh, into the uh, skin and from through the blood they could go into the uh, muscles and into the bone and the infection uh, of the muscles we call them uh, myositis as you know and if it's bacteria we call it pyomyositis uh, and uh, in, uh, infection uh, to the bone we call it uh, mainly uh, osteomyelitis osteomyelitis uh, so these are very important uh, uh, here uh, uh, to know um, so uh, uh, some of those uh, uh, infections uh, they could be uh, here uh, uh, specific uh, here uh, like uh, uh, here uh, clostridium uh, perfringens we call it uh, clostridium uh, for example myonecrosis so this is specific uh, to the uh, muscles or it could be non-specific uh, uh, like for example uh, the myalgias uh, that will follow a uh, viral infections uh, to the uh, uh, to the muscles in general uh, so w when you have a uh, viral infection in general and the uh, uh, muscle uh, aches uh, that will uh, follow uh, uh, this is a, a non-specific uh, type of an uh, uh, infection so always remember that uh, when you have a bacterial infections and the formations of uh, what we call a pus uh, then we call that a bio uh, myositis if it's infection uh, to the bone uh, I want you to know uh, that in, in, in these types of infections in general that uh, uh, Staphylococcus uh, aureus uh, uh, has more than 95% uh, uh, here percentage uh, of the infections uh, uh, to the uh, uh, skin, uh, uh, the uh, bone, as well as uh, uh, the uh, muscles that are uh, uh, involved. Uh, then we have the others that perform the other 5%, uh, including even uh, the, uh, uh, the HIV uh, uh, for the human immune deficiency uh, uh, virus that could uh, infect as well the uh, skin uh, as well as the uh, bone. Um, so uh, it's so important uh, to know that uh, uh, the bacteria that uh, comes and infects the uh, skin, the bone, and uh, muscles, uh, they could be external, and this is uh, uh, very common, they come from outside, uh, or they could be internal. Uh, and then, as we said, through uh, the blood and lymphatics, then, then they could go to the skin, uh, muscles, and uh, uh, bone. This is really very, very important to know. The second important point that I want you to remember uh, that uh, in the skin we have uh, 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 the uh, uh, normal flora uh, like the coagulase negative staph as well as staph aureus but, uh, uh, and some of other uh, gram negative bacteria uh, and, and those uh, uh, they could cause as I said an opportunistic type uh, of an uh, uh, infection and we will talk about those in uh, uh, details. And these types of infections, uh, they could uh, be uh, having a short uh, a duration associated with uh, uh, fever, uh, and, and then this is an acute type of infection, or could take a longer period of time, prolonged, uh, uh, like uh, some of, uh, uh, for example, mycobacterial type of infections uh, can cause a, a chronic type of infection. Uh, so the most common organisms then that we are going to talk about in bacteria is the staphylococci, staphylococci and staphylococcus aureus yani in particular, then the streptococci, mainly group A beta hemolytic uh, uh, strip, uh, and finally we'll talk about 
the Pseudomonas aeruginosa as an opportunistic organism that can cause infection uh, to the uh, skin uh, as well as uh, bone and uh, joints. Uh, the <coughs> uh, simplest uh, form of skin infections is the infection of the hair follicle, and, and we call that uh, uh, folliculitis. And uh, also Staph aureus is, is common uh, in these uh, parts uh, of uh, infections. Also, other important infection uh, if, if from uh, uh, here, uh, a, a gram-positive uh, bacilli that's strict and aerob, uh, 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 we call it acne uh, vulgaris. Uh, and the acne vulgaris is, is uh, uh, the causation uh, of uh, acne, uh, so I want you to remember that acne vulgaris uh, can be uh, caused uh, by an organism, we call it Propionibacterium uh, acne, uh, that uh, blocks uh, uh, the uh, 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 sebaceous uh, gland uh, 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 ducts, as we are going to see. Uh, other uh, uh, skin lesions beside the infection of the hair follicle and the folliculitis, uh, we call it uh, 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 pharyncle, uh, and uh, this is like uh, a, a, a larger form of infection caused usually by Staphylococcus uh, aureus. And then a coil lesion uh, of these uh, uh, pharyncles uh, form a skin lesion where we call it uh, uh, carbuncles. Uh, and uh, we will be talking about that and see that in, in, in just a, a, a second. So uh, again, these types of uh, 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 infections and the syndromes, uh, uh, like uh, for example, what we call uh, uh, empatigo, uh, that is uh, caused by a group A beta hemolytic uh, uh, strip, and we will talk about that in, in, in just uh, a second, and uh, uh, Staphylococcus uh, aureus. So Staphylococcus aureus, as I said, is the most common organism that's associated with these types of infections, followed by group A uh, beta hemolytic uh, strip. Then the uh, folliculitis uh, uh, can be caused by uh, Pseudomonas uh, aeruginosa as an opportunistic type of uh, uh, bacteria, uh, and also a yeast, we call it Candida uh, albicans, that can cause uh, also skin infection. So uh, remember Staphylococcus aureus as the most common cause in more than 95% uh, 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 of uh, the percentage of uh, uh, the uh, bacteria. And then acne, caused by Propionibacterium acne uh, uh, here, a very important uh, uh, organism uh, here to talk about. Uh, Propionibacterium acne, strict and aerobe, gram-positive, uh, uh, short uh, bacilli that blocks uh, the uh, uh, sebaceous uh, gland uh, ducts. Uh, uh, then a uh, 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 collection of uh, these uh, microabscesses, we call it a, a, a pharyncle, caused by Staphylococcus uh, uh, aureus, and collection of these uh, uh, pharyncles, we call it carbuncles. Very important to know uh, these uh, 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 clinical uh, uh, terminology. So uh, pharyncles, folliculitis, uh, caused by uh, group A beta hemolytic strip, group A beta hemolytic uh, uh, strip, as well as Staphylococcus uh, aureus, very, very important uh, uh, to know. Uh, other organisms like Haemophilus uh, influenza uh, can cause infections uh, to the skin, muscles, joints as well. Uh, uh, Intertrigo, some people are uh, smart, uh, also uh, can be associated with infections uh, to uh, uh, Staphylococcus uh, aureus as an etiology. Uh, here, as well as uh, uh, Candida albicans, can cause the intertrigo, smart in uh, uh, infants or in, in children. Very important uh, here uh, uh, to know. Uh, uh, also, uh, <coughs> uh, uh, members of the uh, Enterobacteriaceae uh, 
uh, as uh, part of the uh, 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 normal flora that usually comes from the GI tract, uh, also uh, 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 they could uh, cause uh, uh, in infections uh, to the skins, and this is to the skin, which is really very important uh, uh, here to uh, uh, remember. Uh, chronic uh, uh, ulcers, uh, uh, for example, uh, 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 like, uh, uh, for example, the uh, organism of syphilis, uh, Treponema pallidum, uh, uh, part of uh, uh, the uh, uh, pathogenesis of syphilis is a, a skin infection. Uh, uh, it's extremely important to know. As well as other fungi, like the Sporotrix uh, shinkii and uh, Sporo uh, uh, trichosis uh, uh, as well. Very important to remember. Uh, other uh, uh, viruses could be associated with that, like herpes uh, viruses, and we'll talk in details about uh, these types of uh, in infections. Uh, other bacteria, like uh, uh, Haemophilus uh, ducreae, is associated with a disease. We call it uh, chancroid. Uh, I, I want you to remember uh, uh, that from chancre, chancroid, chancre, uh, uh, Triponema pallidum, chancroid, uh, 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 here Haemophilus uh, uh, ducreae. Um, uh, also, uh, the uh, Coranibacterium uh, 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 diphtheriae uh, here is so important to, to know that it could uh, uh, in infect uh, the uh, skin uh, uh, as well. And Bacillus anthracis, the causative agent of anthrax, Gemral Khabitha, uh, can infect the skin uh, as well. Um, Um, uh, also, we'll be talking about some of the uh, uh, branching type of uh, bacteria, like uh, 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 Nocaria, has caused what we call a sinus, which uh, is skin infection uh, uh, here, a sinus, uh, a, a cavity that uh, connects the uh, skin uh, here to the outside. Uh, we call that a sinus, Nocaria, uh, asteroides. Uh, 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 remember also that uh, mycobacterium can be associated with a chronic infections uh, to the uh, skin. And then we will be talking about uh, uh, some of the uh, wounds that could be uh, uh, infected by uh, bacteria following uh, trauma, for example. And we will be talking about uh, Clostridium, uh, Clostridium perfringes and uh, uh, gas uh, gangrene very important uh, organism uh, uh, to remember. And also we talked about the uh, 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 Enterobacteriaceae as uh, an opportunistic uh, 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 infections that they come from uh, the normal flora of the uh, GI tract. And never forget the Pseudomonas aeruginosa as an opportunistic type uh, of an uh, uh, infection. Uh, uh, and here when we talk about uh, uh, wounds, like uh, 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 surgical types of wounds that could be infected, and, and those they could be clean or dirty types of uh, wounds. Uh, so the uh, 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 a clean type of the uh, surgical wounds, the most common organism is Staphylococcus aureus. That's usually uh, contaminated uh, from the anterior nares, Fathat al-Anf, here as well as the perianal uh, uh, region. And remember the enterobacteriaceae uh, that uh, they could uh, uh, contaminate uh, here these uh, uh, surgical uh, uh, wounds. Uh, uh, remember also the second organism that is common, which is group A beta hemolytic strip, so Staphylococcus aureus, and then group A beta hemolytic strip, then members of the enterobacteriaceae. Uh, also, uh, uh, the uh, 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 not just the clean types of uh, wound, but also the dirty types of uh, uh, wounds, uh, and, and the same here, Staphylococcus aureus uh, is uh, very common in this uh, aspect. Uh, also, 
remember in the dirty we always talk about members of the enterobacteria C that comes from uh, stool uh, uh, contamination uh, as well as the anaerobes the anaerobes they play a major role in uh, uh, wound uh, uh, infection also we uh, when we talk about the skin, we talk about burns. And if you remember in burns, uh, when you have uh, a discontinuity of the uh, uh, skin, and uh, here Pseudomonas uh, aeruginosa is very common, as well as Candida albicans in this regard. The uh, Pseudomonas aeruginosa associated uh, with uh, a, uh, a, a greenish uh, discoloration, we call it biocyanin and has a citrus type of uh, a smell uh, easily you can make a, a diagnosis and the candida albicans is easy also uh, to diagnose with the germ tube uh, uh, testing we'll talk about that uh, uh, later um, so remember in burns staphylococcus aureus pseudomonas aeruginosa the most common two organisms associated uh, 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 with that and uh, the uh, members of the enterobacteriaceae uh, as well could contaminate burnt patients and uh, uh, infection uh, very important uh, uh, here point to remember that the skin could be uh, uh, infected following uh, animal bites or even human bites human bites or uh, animal uh, bites uh, uh, can be associated uh, uh, with uh, uh, such types of an infections um, so in uh, animal uh, bites uh, uh, here uh, uh, it depends on the uh, normal flora that is uh, uh, present in the oral cavity of uh, animals like one is called Pasturella maltocida, uh, here that comes uh, uh, from uh, 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 dogs. An infection uh, here to the bone, uh, the most common bone infection, we call it uh, osteomyelitis, uh, and uh, it depends on the uh, patient's uh, age group. Uh, like, for example, uh, the, uh, uh, if a patient is uh, uh, less than uh, uh, one uh, month of uh, age, uh, then Staphylococcus uh, aureus, and then uh, Group B is Streptococci, where Group B is associated with uh, the uh, birth canal and can go into the uh, babies. Some gram, uh, gram negative uh, uh, rods as well, members of the Enterobacteria C, like uh, Escherichia coli, uh, Klebsiella. Uh, uh, in your monie, for example, uh, or even uh, Proteus and Pseudomonas can be associated with infection through the newborns. Uh, also, uh, uh, older uh, infants, uh, uh, here uh, uh, children, uh, adults, same thing, Staphylococcus aureus and uh, Pseudomonas uh, aeruginosa. And then we have uh, some uh, special uh, 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 problems. Uh, uh, like uh, uh, chronic uh, types uh, of uh, <coughs> uh, uh, hemolytic type of uh, uh, disorders uh, like uh, if uh, a patient has uh, uh, these types of hemolytic types of uh, diseases like sickle cell anemia then we could expect also staphylococcus aureus uh, and um, uh, 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 as well as the streptococcal uh, uh, pneumonia uh, and sometimes even salmonella uh, can be associated with such types of uh, infections um, uh, infection after uh, uh, for example uh, <coughs> uh, trauma uh, here or uh, surgery here always staphylococcus aureus uh, can be associated with such type uh, of uh, an infection and then uh, a group A beta hemolytic uh, streptococci and then the gram uh, uh, negative uh, uh, bacteria uh, uh, in general 
those are the aerobic or we could have even the uh, uh, strict anaerobes as we are going to see. Uh, in, in fixture, infection after uh, uh, here a puncture type of uh, wounds of the foot, a penetrating type of an injury like uh, nail, the smar, uh, that goes into a, uh, the uh, foot. Uh, we see that Pseudomonas aeruginosa uh, and Staphylococcus aureus are very common in these aspects. Uh, again, the common uh, organisms uh, associated with infection even uh, to the uh, joints, we call that uh, 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 septic uh, arthritis, septic arthritis. In neonates, for example, uh, less than uh, one month uh, of uh, uh, age, uh, then uh, uh, we have here the Staphylococcus aureus the same, and the group B that inhabits the uh, uh, birth canal uh, can be associated with such types of an injury. Uh, Escherichia coli, Klebsiella, or members of the Enterobacteriaceae, very common. And uh, uh, here from one month to four years of age, the Staphylococcus uh, aureus again. Group A, uh, beta hemolytic uh, streptococci. Uh, very important uh, uh, to know, and the uh, strep uh, in pneumoniae as well. Taban, Neisseria meningitis. Uh, and uh, Haemophilus uh, influenza uh, uh, can be common uh, in this uh, age group, one month to four years of uh, age. Four to 16 years of age, same again, Staphylococcus aureus, and group A beta hemolytic uh, streptococci. Uh, uh, 16 to 40 years of age, during um, here young age groups, uh, uh, here uh, uh, Neisseria gonorrhea, uh, uh, could be uh, associated with septic uh, arthritis and Staphylococcus aureus again uh, here and, and uh, more than uh, 40 years of age again back into the Staphylococcus aureus so as you can see Staphylococcus aureus is very common uh, in this regard in almost uh, all age uh, groups so now we will be talking about uh, uh, <coughs> uh, the uh, uh, microorganisms associated with infections to the skin, Staphylococcus uh, aureus, uh, uh, for example, uh, and members of the genus uh, Staphylococcus, uh, Staphylococci, which are gram positive uh, uh, here, uh, uh, spherical types of uh, bacteria uh, uh, that uh, uh, seems to be arranged uh, and uh, uh, groups like uh, cluster staphylo, uh, uh, bunch of grapes. Um, uh, I'm sure you have seen that uh, many times. Infections uh, uh, produced by Staphylococcus uh, aureus. Uh, uh, remember that because it is the one that has uh, the most uh, uh, virulent factors are uh, uh, typified uh, uh, by uh, acute, uh, aggressive, uh, 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 locally, uh, uh, destructive uh, uh, pustular uh, uh, here lesions. So these lesions usually they do have pus that will follow Staphylococcus aureus. Uh, the uh, 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 most uh, uh, familiar uh, of these uh, is the uh, common uh, boil, the microabscess of the skin, uh, uh, <coughs> a painful uh, 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 lumpy lump usually uh, is the uh, uh, of the uh, skin uh, that has uh, a, uh, a, a necrotic uh, <coughs> uh, center uh, and uh, uh, fibrous uh, uh, reactive uh, uh, shell. Uh, 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 infections uh, in uh, organs uh, other than the uh, skin, uh, such as the uh, lungs, and cause it causes pneumonia by the staphylococci. Uh, kidneys as well, uh, uh, glomerulonephritis, for example, or nephritis in general, uh, or bone, and osteomyelitis uh, uh, here uh, are also uh, uh, focal, and uh, uh, here uh, 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 destructive uh, to those organs, uh, but have. Uh, 
uh, a greater uh, uh, potential uh, for uh, extension uh, within the organ and they can uh, spread uh, and uh, here beyond uh, <coughs> to the uh, uh, blood or in septicemia uh, and other uh, organs as well uh, such uh, in infections uh, uh, typically uh, here produce uh, higher uh, uh, high uh, fever uh, and uh, and uh, uh, here uh, systemic uh, toxicity uh, and be maybe uh, fatal uh, in uh, only a few days and when it goes into the blood and causes septicemia and so on becomes uh, uh, fatal in a few days uh, the uh, uh, major uh, uh, virulent uh, factors uh, uh, for uh, uh, these uh, uh, infections are usually the, the surface uh, uh, attachment uh, proteins, uh, uh, fibrinogen uh, binding uh, 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 proteins, uh, and a uh, pore uh, 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 forming. It makes uh, pores into the uh, uh, cell wall uh, uh, exotoxins, and then uh, damage to those uh, microbes. A uh, subgroup less than 10% uh, uh, of Staphylococcus uh, aureus uh, uh, infections, uh, they had uh, uh, manifestations uh, 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 produced uh, by, uh, uh, by uh, 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 secreted uh, toxins. They make holes in the cytoplasmic membrane of the bacteria. Uh, in, in addition uh, to those uh, associated uh, uh, with the uh, uh, primary infection. Uh, symptoms, usually, uh, they include um, uh, diarrhea. Uh, they are associated with uh, food poisoning. This is very important for you to know. Uh, skin rash as well, and uh, skin desquamation, uh, uh, sloughing any of the uh, uh, skin from toxins produced by the staff, uh, and uh, uh, also, also uh, multi-organ uh, uh, effects as the uh, 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 staphylococcal uh, uh, toxic uh, shock uh, uh, syndrome, uh, 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 <coughs> TSS, uh, sh toxic shock syndrome. Uh, 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 super antigens, uh, uh, toxins, what does it mean, yani super antigen here are involved uh, uh, in these uh, uh, diseases. Uh, 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 ingestion uh, of uh, the uh, uh, preformed uh, the uh, 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 ingestion of the uh, uh, preformed uh, uh, here uh, uh, staphylococcal uh, enterotoxin uh, causes a uh, form of uh, uh, food uh, poisoning uh, in which uh, here, uh, uh, vomiting uh, uh, begins in uh, uh, only uh, a few hours uh, uh, following the uh, ingestion. Uh, Staphylococcus, uh, epidermidis, uh, uh, here, and uh, other non uh, aureus uh, species uh, uh, produce usually uh, less. Uh, <coughs> aggressive type of a disease uh, typically uh, associated uh, with the formation of uh, uh, what we call biofilm. These are sticky type of material uh, where these coagulase negative staff, uh, they stick into the plastic devices. Uh, uh, mediated attachment uh, to medically uh, 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 devices uh, such as indwelling catheters, uh, and uh, 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 bio uh, 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 medical uh, implants uh, in the uh, body, uh, like uh, heart valves, for example, uh, and the artificial uh, uh, here joints can be infected with these coagulase negative staff. So those are the different uh, types of staphylococci that we are going uh, to talk about.
the most virulent one is the uh, Staphylococcus uh, uh, aureus. Uh, the major virulent factor uh, is what we call the coagulase uh, enzyme that changes fibrin into fibrin and uh, forming the uh, clot. It has also what we call the alpha toxin. We'll talk about it in just a second. That makes holes in the cytoplasmic membrane uh, of the uh, bacteria. And it has what we call the super antigen. We'll talk about that in just a second. What does it mean? And its habitat is usually in the uh, anterior nares, Fathat al al anf. This is usually where it is uh, uh, located. And it forms what we call a biofilm, uh, where they can attach to plastics uh, 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 devices. It can form a, a boil, can cause urinary tract infection, for example, and the uh, uh, deep uh, uh, infections. Uh, uh, here in our uh, uh, body. And then we have the epidermidis, which is less virulent uh, here, as you can uh, see, uh, and the same thing present in the anterior nares. And this is very common in forming the biofilm that will attach to the plastic uh, uh, devices uh, uh, catheters. So those are device uh, associated. And then the ha we have what we call the Staphylococcus saprophyticus. Uh, here, uh, uh, that can be associated with uh, uh, urinary tract infection and can be uh, a present uh, in as normal flora in the GI tract. And from there, it can cause uh, uh, here uh, the uh, uh, urinary tract uh, infection. And then we have uh, uh, others, uh, the uh, <coughs> uh, Staphylococcus logdwinesis, for example same thing here can be associated with biofilm uh, formation can uh, also cause a, a boil and urinary tract infection uh, uh, like those of uh, the others uh, uh, members of the enterobacteriaceae almost and can be associated with uh, endocarditis uh, as well and can cause uh, uh, osteomyelitis So you can see here the uh, staphylococci, uh, how they can form uh, uh, clusters, a bunch of uh, grape-like uh, 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 bacteria, the aureus and the epidermidis. Uh, morphologically, they look the same, but the uh, aureus produces more virulent factor uh, that can inflict more injury uh, into the patients that they harbor. The uh, alpha toxin of uh, Staphylococcus uh, aureus uh, is a uh, major uh, here uh, uh, virulent factor that makes that makes uh, holes, as you can see, in the cytoplasmic membrane uh, of uh, the um, uh, skin, uh, and then causes uh, 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 tissue damage. Uh, we call it the alpha uh, uh, toxin. Uh, usually. Uh, a, a, f a fragment, uh, a, a, a rabbit erythrocyte that makes holes in it, uh, so they can destroy these uh, cells by uh, uh, this uh, uh, way. Remember that. So this uh, uh, a clinical capsule talks about Staphylococcus uh, aureus. Uh, uh, infections uh, produced by Staphylococcus aureus are typified uh, by, it, uh, by uh, acute uh, aggregates. Uh, 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 locally uh, 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 destructive, usually, and they, they rarely spread. Purulent, that they form pus uh, uh, here, uh, purulent uh, uh, lesions. Uh, the uh, uh, most uh, familiar of these uh, is uh, the uh, common boil, common boil like microabscess of the skin, a painful lump in the uh, skin uh, that has a, a, a necrotic uh, center uh, and uh, a fibrous uh, uh, reactive uh, shell. Uh, infections uh, in organs uh, other than the uh, skin sometimes could occur, such as the lung can cause pneumonia, uh, the kidneys, as I said, pyelonephritis,
uh, or uh, bone uh, osteomyelitis are also uh, uh, focal and uh, destructive but have uh, uh, here uh, greater uh, have uh, a greater uh, uh, <coughs> uh, potential uh, for uh, uh, extension uh, they can spread uh, even uh, more uh, uh, within uh, the uh, uh, organ and beyond uh, to the uh, uh, blood septicemia and then can go anywhere and other organs of our body but uh, infections uh, uh, typically uh, uh, here produce uh, high fever uh, and uh, systemic uh, toxicity and maybe uh, fatal uh, in only uh, a few days. A uh, subgroup, usually less than 10% of staph aureus uh, in, in infections, has uh, uh, <coughs> uh, manifestations uh, produced by uh, uh, secreted toxins uh, in uh, addition uh, to those uh, caused by uh, the uh, primary uh, uh, infections. Uh, symptoms include uh, diarrhea and food poisoning, rash as well, uh, skin desquamations and sloughing of the uh, skin, uh, and uh, multi-organ uh, uh, here uh, effects uh, as an uh, uh, staphylococci. Uh, uh, toxic shock uh, uh, syndrome, TSS, uh, here ingestion of uh, uh, a preformed uh, staphylococci, uh, uh, enterococci, uh, causes a uh, form of uh, uh, food poisoning uh, in which uh, uh, vomiting uh, begins uh, 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 only uh, a few hours uh, uh, after that. So here it's so important to know that Staphylococcus uh, aureus uh, that usually comes from the uh, anterior nares and the perianal region uh, can cause uh, really uh, uh, multiple uh, skin uh, uh, infections. Uh, staphylococcal uh, here super antigens, the kind of super antigens, and how uh, uh, those uh, can stimulate. Uh, the helper cells and produce the tumor necrosis uh, factor uh, and uh, you uh, cause damage uh, to the uh, skin uh, by uh, binding to major histocompatibility uh, uh, type antigen uh, uh, type uh, 2. Uh, so it can not just uh, uh, associate it with the skin infections uh, like uh, formation of uh, micro abscesses uh, here as we uh, said but also uh, can cause uh, uh, food poisoning and uh, 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 diarrhea uh, as well and the super antigens uh, we'll talk about it in just a second uh, where it uh, can be uh, uh, present in uh, patients and women that they have what we call tampons tampons uh, uh, a, uh, an applicator uh, that uses to absorb uh, a, a blood uh, that comes from the uh, menstrual uh, cycle. So here uh, we we'll talk about uh, the uh, Staphylococcus aureus uh, uh, virulent factors. Uh, many of those uh, that you have uh, to remember, like the uh, fibrinogen, fibrinogen binding uh, uh, protein, uh, for example, uh, that usually is uh, responsible for the uh, formation of the clotting, for example. Uh, and then uh, uh, here uh, uh, we will see how uh, uh, those uh, can uh, induce or stimulate uh, the production of polymorphonuclear uh, uh, leukocytes. Uh, the clumping, for example, uh, factor as well. Uh, 
and uh, uh, you saw the uh, fibrin and fibrinogen uh, or staph aureus we know uh, uh, that it can form uh, a, uh, a blood uh, a clot and so this is a very large factor and we'll tell you in just a second how we can make a diagnosis of staph uh, aureus uh, from these uh, uh, diagnostic uh, features uh, of uh, the uh, clotting factors and the formation of uh, a clump. So those are the lesions here, the microabscesses uh, that, that is formed by the uh, Staphylococcus aureus. This is the hair follicle and the uh, uh, folliculitis and, uh, uh, and then the organisms, they can go into the hair follicle uh, and then cause the uh, 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 infection and from there, it can cause the uh, 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 micro uh, uh, abscesses uh, that uh, uh, they coalesce uh, to, together uh, here uh, to form a uh, bigger lesions, uh, uh, folliculitis, uh, and then uh, more like uh, an uh, abscess or a larger uh, abscess that has a, a, a different name as we are going to see. Now when uh, 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 those uh, come together, they can cause what we call a pharyncle, and then uh, when a group of pharyncles they coalesce together, it forms what we call a carbuncle. So a carbuncle is a larger uh, uh, a skin lesion that will uh, ul ulcerate as uh, uh, well. There are multiple abscesses uh, uh, that they coalesce here uh, to form uh, 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 this type of a lesion, carbuncle, remember Staphylococcus uh, aureus associated with that. Uh, uh, this is, uh, for example, a carbuncle. You can see many pharyncles that they coalesce together, forming a larger uh, lesion that will cause an ulcer. Uh, we call that a uh, carbuncle. Also, uh, Staphylococcus uh, aureus in uh, uh, babies sometimes uh, can cause uh, uh, here wha what we call uh, the uh, scalded skin syndrome, uh, where it is associated with the complete sloughing uh, of the uh, skin uh, uh, here because uh, of uh, uh, the scalded skin uh, uh, here toxin that is going to be uh, uh, produced. Uh, so. Uh, it forms more uh, peeling. So the, uh, this uh, infant uh, has a, a uh, uh, small uh, <coughs> uh, focal staphylococcal uh, uh, here, uh, a breast uh, abscess, uh, and um, uh, looks uh, as if he has been uh, here burned uh, or almost because of the sloughing uh, of the skin uh, or uh, uh, dipped uh, in uh, boiling water and not harrigan skin because of the sloughing that has taken uh, a place. The peeling uh, of the uh, uh, super uh, superficial layer uh, of the skin uh, has a, uh, a result uh, of the action uh, of the uh, circulating uh, uh, here antigens. So here uh, the toxic shock uh, uh, syndrome uh, uh, caused by Staphylococcus aureus when certain uh, uh, ladies, they use uh, the tampons, and the tampons, uh, they are just simply a uh, 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 spongy uh, applicator that ladies, they put it, they insert it into the vagina. Uh, they create uh, more uh, an environment for Staphylococcus uh, aureus to grow uh, in the uh, vagina, and they, they produce the toxic shock syndrome uh, uh, toxin that will be absorbed. Uh, uh, through uh, the uh, wall of the uh, vagina, uh, and then it's going to uh, 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 bind uh, to uh, major histocompatibility antigen class uh, uh, 2 directly, so it's not an antigen uh, uh, here binding uh, uh, receptor, uh, 
that, and, and this binding to class two major histocompatibility antigen uh, will lead to the production of interleukin uh, one and uh, 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 toxic uh, uh, here uh, tumor necrosis uh, factor alpha and interleukin one and those are uh, very potent inflammatory mediators that will be associated uh, here with a disease that we call toxic shock uh, 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 syndrome um, that leads to shock. So when you do a, a, a gram stain uh, of uh, the uh, vagina, you can see the gram positive uh, cocci uh, in clusters, which is uh, uh, here the classical uh, morphology of uh, Staphylococcus uh, aureus. Staphylo, it means clusters, cocci of spheres. Uh, of uh, spheres and aureus it, it means golden in shape the shape of the colonies so this is uh, a, 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 an electron microscopy showing uh, uh, the uh, staphylococcus aureus uh, uh, clusters as you can see here and um, uh, this is uh, easily identified in the uh, uh, lab this is scanning electron uh, micrograph of Staphylococcus uh, or is you see a bunch of uh, grapes. They uh, got the line up uh, almost. So Staph aureus can be uh, grown on uh, uh, sheep blood agar, uh, giving you a uh, just gray-like type of uh, colonies. Sometimes they can be uh, beta hemolytic and uh, when you do the catalase test, it will be catalase positive. Uh, and then when you do the coagulase test, it will be coagulase uh, positive. That goes uh, uh, here clumping. And this is how we make uh, uh, the diagnosis of Staphylococcus aureus. So here, if uh, you uh, uh, put a colony of a Staph aureus uh, in a test tube that has uh, uh, fresh uh, plasma, uh, in it, uh, it will cause clotting, as you can see here. So the formation of the clot here is uh, pathognomonic of Staphylococcus uh, uh, aureus. It's not uh, just uh, uh, that, uh, uh, but uh, also uh, uh, here uh, 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 you know that uh, uh, Staphylococcus uh, epidermidis, for example, is the less uh, 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 virulent uh, and um, uh, Staphylococcus aureus causes uh, uh, fermentation uh, of the sugar uh, uh, sorbitol. Uh, sorbitol, while, for example, the epidermidis does not show the fermentation process. So aureus fermentation changes the pH, so it, it becomes acidic uh, because uh, 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 the mannitol uh, uh, sugar is uh, 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 fermented, while epidermidis, for example, no fermentation of the uh, mannitol uh, sugar, uh, and so no change of the pH, as you can see, no change of color. This is another uh, uh, picture of the scalded skin uh, syndrome, sloughing of the uh, skin of a uh, baby that is uh, infected with Staphylococcus uh, uh, aureus, Staphylococcus scalded skin uh, uh, syndrome. This is another uh, uh, view of the coagulase negative staph, we call them uh, cons. And the significance of this uh, view that the coagulase negative staph, uh, 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 they can stick to plastic uh, uh, surfaces. So if the patient is have an indwelling catheter, they can stick into the plastic and from there they can have access uh, into the uh, circulation and cause uh, infection uh, continuously to those uh, patients. So. Uh, this is uh, uh, then a summary of what we were talking about. Staphylococcus uh, aureus, uh, uh, coagulase positive, is by far uh, 
uh, of the uh, most uh, virulent uh, species uh, 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 here uh, 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 launching uh, invasive uh, uh, here uh, uh, disease uh, uh, from uh, colonization uh, of the uh, 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 anterior nares. This is where their location in our body, as at the perianal region. Okay, uh, the uh, uh, fibronectin uh, binding uh, <coughs> protein uh, 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 mediate uh, here the surface uh, attachment uh, to skin uh, and. Um, uh, uh, mucosal uh, surfaces. Uh, uh, coagulase, uh, a clumping uh, 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 factor, this is where the clot is taking place, uh, and uh, 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 protein A here disrupt uh, the uh, innate uh, 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 phagocyte uh, 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 response. Uh, local uh, uh, production uh, of uh, poor forming uh, a uh, or alpha uh, toxin uh, destroys uh, the cells uh, uh, leading uh, to uh, what we call a impetigo this is a disease we call it uh, uh, impetigo uh, and, and the abscess uh, <coughs> pneumonias lung infection uh, osteomyelitis as well and um, uh, uh, bacteremias and of course uh, uh, endocarditis and infection to the heart as well uh, exfoliatin that causes sloughing of the skin uh, here production uh, causes a blister like here bully and as a yellow balloon uh, here uh, impetigo uh, or uh, 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 when uh, absorbed uh, uh, by uh, infants uh, staphylococci is called it skin syndrome we call that of course scudding, uh, sloughing of the skin strains uh, here, uh, which produce the staphylococcal uh, here uh, super antigen uh, uh, toxin, we call it here uh, staph super uh, antigen, uh, cause uh, uh, toxic shock uh, uh, syndrome. Uh, when absorbed uh, uh, from uh, uh, the uh, vagina or the vaginal wall or any uh, uh, other uh, uh, here uh, uh, infection. Uh, staphylococcal super antigen uh, uh, binding uh, directly to the uh, uh, variable beta uh, portion of the uh, T cell uh, here uh, uh, receptors uh, uh, stimulating uh, here uh, massive uh, cytokine uh, uh, here release uh, and this is what causes the shock ingestion of uh, uh, preformed uh, uh, staphylococcal super antigen, for example, uh, uh, here uh, enterotoxin uh, causes diarrhea uh, and uh, 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 vomiting. Uh, 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 within uh, a few uh, uh, hours, uh, Staphylococcus uh, aureus uh, uh, strains here uh, uh, resistant uh, to uh, methicillin, we call it MRSA, uh, here uh, have uh, acquired uh, here genes uh, for uh, uh, peptidoglycan uh, transpeptidase uh, uh, that uh, uh, do not bind uh, to penicillin. So they become resistant to uh, penicillin. Uh, so, uh, 
coagulates uh, uh, negative, and those are responsible for the uh, binding. Coagulase negative staphylococci uh, here lock uh, uh, the above uh, 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 toxins uh, and uh, uh, cause uh, 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 low grade low grade disease uh, uh, by here uh, production or producing a, a what we call a biofilm uh, adheres uh, to uh, indwelling catheters uh, and uh, uh, other. Uh, uh, here, uh, foreign bodies. Uh, Staphylococcal saprophyticus, I want you to remember this organism responsible for general tract infection, uh, uh, here colonizes uh, the uh, intestinal uh, and um, cause uh, here urinary tract uh, uh, infections in young uh, 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 women. So every time we talk about Staphylococcus saprophyticus, we talk about urinary tract infection. So then, uh, in summary, uh, again, uh, bacterial skin infections uh, to the skin. Uh, uh, then here, um, impetigo, bullous impetigo, here, and uh, if those are infected or having pus, we call that pustular uh, impetigo. Uh, and then uh, uh, we have a, a, a disease, we call it erysipelas, uh, that uh, uh, here the infection goes uh, uh, deeper, uh, and then we can see a, a, a mark demarcation uh, between the infected skin and the normal skin, we call that uh, then erysipelas, we'll see that in just a second. And then we have what we call cellulitis, infection to the uh, uh, main planes of the uh, uh, skin. Not, might not be just caused by staphylococcus, but other bacteria can be associated with uh, in infections that uh, here we call uh, cellulitis. Chronic infections can be caused by mycobacterium, like mycobacterium marinum, for example and mycobacterium ulcerans that can cause a granulomatous type of a, a lesion. Secondary type of syphilis, this is well known that it will cause a, a, a skin infection, treponema pallidum, secondary stage of syphilis, and also uh, here uh, wound infection uh, as well following trauma, for example, where we see staph aureus uh, is a common uh, organism associated with that, or uh, uh, here, uh, surgical type of wounds, same thing, Staph aureus is very common uh, in causing such uh, a contamination. Uh, burns, for example, and uh, uh, animal bites as well could be associated uh, with uh, Staph infection. Burns, very important, with Pseudomonas aeruginosa. I want you to remember those two organisms, Staph aureus, Pseudomonas aeruginosa, very common contaminants to uh, burns that can cause uh, skin infection. The second important organism associated with skin infection is a group A beta hemolytic strip. And this organism, when you do uh, catalase test, is, it will be uh, positive. Uh, and also, when you do gram stain, you can see gram positive cocci in uh, chain. So it's different from the cluster is formed by the staphylococci, so catalase positive, as well as uh, uh, here uh, gram positive in chains rather than in uh, clusters, group A beta hemolytic staph, uh, strip, sorry. So the uh, impetigo uh, uh, then uh, where the skin lesions can be uh, full uh, of uh, fluid, serous fluid, and then they could change into pus, and then they will uh, uh, here uh, rupture the bully here, uh, forming, uh, as you can see, skin lesions, uh, golden uh, uh, type uh, of a, uh, a skin lesions. Uh, we call that uh, impetigo. Uh, 
uh, again, the uh, erysipelas, also deeper skin uh, infections, where you can see the clear demarcation between the infected skin as well as the normal skin. Erysipelas, and usually uh, this is uh, caused by uh, group A beta hemolytic uh, streptococci that is highly sensitive to penicillin. So we can use penicillin for the treatment of a group A beta hemolytic strep. This is uh, another view of erysipelas where you can see the skin infection and the clear sharp demarcation between the infected skin and the normal skin erysipelas easily can be treated with penicillin. Uh, why? Because group A beta hemolytic strep is always uh, here sensitive to penicillin. And when you grow this uh, bacteria, it can grow on sheep blood agar. It forms beta hemolysis and a complete lysis of red blood cells around the colony. And when you do the catalase test, uh, it's usually uh, catalase uh, 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 negative. Uh, so group A beta hemolytic strep is catalase uh, uh, negative and it, it causes uh, uh, here hemolysis of uh, the uh, sheep uh, uh, blood. This is the uh, mechanism of action of the super antigen uh, uh, where the uh, super antigen binds to a class 2 major histocompatibility antigen it doesn't bind to the receptor uh, on the cell, just to class 2 major histocompatibility antigen. And this is uh, just non-specifically uh, triggers the T helper cell to produce uh, the cytokines that will be responsible uh, for the skin damage. Uh, here, like tumor necrosis uh, uh, factor, for example, tumor necrosis uh, uh, factor here causes uh, tissue damage uh, uh, in general. So group A beta hemolytic strep then uh, easily can be uh, identified by uh, the uh, susceptibility to uh, uh, basotracin. So it's a uh, Lansfield group A antigen here, while the others they are uh, negative and um, uh, they are susceptible to basotracin, so we call it a group A beta hemolytic strip. Very simple. Always remember that the uh, uh, second stage of syphilis, we call secondary syphilis, uh, form a maculopapular rash that is pathognomonic of the secondary stage of uh, uh, syphilis. Also, another uh, uh, type of bacteria that can uh, 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 cause a chronic type of a skin lesion like Mycobacterium marinum and Mycobacterium ulcerans that can cause uh, uh, here a uh, granulomatous type of a lesion uh, as well as uh, 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 here uh, uh, ulcerations uh, sometimes could be associated with that. Also, the uh, skin can be infected with uh, uh, anaerobes, and as you know, these anaerobes are, could be uh, bacilli or uh, 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 cocci. Uh, for example, uh, the uh, first one is called the uh, peptonephilis, uh, 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 which is a, a gram-positive uh, uh, cocci that can be present in the uh, uh, pharynx. Uh, in our body it can be present in the intestine uh, uh, as well and can be associated with urinary tract uh, uh, infection as well remember that uh, uh, here <coughs> the uh, nepto nephilis uh, also the other organism uh, is the uh, uh, propionibacterium uh, acne responsible for the acne vulgaris. And uh, uh, also the other organism is the Clostridium. We'll talk about it in just a second. And Clostridium uh, is, uh, uh, is a, a gram-positive uh, uh, rods. 
uh, and uh, can be present in the intestine as well as part of the normal flora. And also we have uh, the uh, uh, bacteria uh, that uh, we call Vilanella, which is a, a gram-negative uh, uh, here cocci. Here can also be uh, present in the uh, uh, intestine, Vilanella. And we have also gram-negative bacilli, the most common anaerobe present in the intestine. We call it Bacteroides uh, uh, fragilis uh, group. Uh, remember that gram-negative rods, Bacteroides fragilis. And we have also another gram-negative uh, uh, rod, strict anaerobe. We call it, uh, it has a tapered ends and called modebbe. Uh, we call it uh, here Fusobacterium, Fusobacterium uh, uh, nucleatum. Gram negative rods. Remember that Fusobacterium can be present in the throat as well as in the uh, intestine uh, at the uh, same time. Also, other gram-negative bacteria, here we call it Prevotella, gram-negative uh, rod, uh, that can be present in the uh, uh, mouth uh, or uh, in the urethra. can be associated with uh, uh, urogenital tract uh, uh, infections. And uh, the other gram-negative rod, we call it the Porphyromonas a gram negative uh, 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 rods uh, in the uh, mouth as well as in the intestine so you have to remember those types of bacteria here because they could be associated with opportunistic types of uh, infections uh, so when i uh, say porphyromonas you have to know that it's a gram negative rod uh, or the prevotella it's a gram negative uh, rod or vilanella it's a gram negative cocci uh, for example and so on So again, uh, 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 this uh, table then uh, again shows the names uh, of the uh, strict uh, anaerobes that uh, are uh, usually uh, uh, present in the skin and can be associated with an opportunistic uh, wound infection, and whether they are gram-positive cocci, uh, like the uh, peptonephilis, uh, for example, and the gram-negative uh, uh, cocci, remember the uh, 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 Vilanella, uh, a, a gram positive uh, uh, bacilli, the bacteroides, uh, uh, the uh, gram positive bacilli, uh, like the Clostridium, sorry, perfringens, uh, the causative agents of gas gangrene, and the virulent factors like the alpha toxin, the uh, uh, theta uh, uh, toxins that causes. Uh, here what we call myonecrosis. Gas gangrene uh, uh, as well. Uh, very important to remember that Clostridium perfringes gas gangrene. Also uh, uh, here uh, the uh, uh, many different uh, uh, virulent uh, factors associated uh, with these types of uh, bacteria. You have to remember these uh, virulent factors, uh, like for example Clostridium tetani and the tetanus uh, toxin, uh, Clostridium botulinum, and this is a food poisoning called uh, botulism. Clostridium difficile, normal flora, uh, overuse of uh, antibiotics uh, 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 causes um, uh, Clostridium difficile, so do membranous enterocolitis, overuse of uh, antibiotics, very important to remember, called difficile because it means difficult to grow. And also we have the uh, propionic uh, uh, bacterium, 
uh, that causes uh, acne uh, vulgaris and also the eobacterium also and then we have the gram negative uh, bacilli remember the bacteroides fragilis uh, group usually opportunistic infections and the bacteroides species other than the fragilis well, also fusobacterium nucleatum and uh, the prevotella your, that, that this one is associated with uh, black uh, pigmentation prevotella melaninogenicus they are from melanin and the porphyromonas as well present in the mouth for example these are strict and aerob so it's so important to remember these names or for example this is the uh, clostridium tetani uh, that uh, uh, causes the disease uh, uh, tetanus gram positive uh, uh, rods that's a drumstick in appearance when you see it once you will never forget that that causes uh, here what we call uh, tetanus uh, it produces a toxin called uh, tetanospasmin that we have uh, a, uh, a, a vaccine against that remember that uh, clostridium tetani and uh, uh, tetanus so usually uh, the uh, infection uh, is uh, uh, usually associated uh, with uh, uh, deep uh, pain and uh, tenderness uh, anywhere uh, uh, below the uh, diaphragm uh, here uh, care uh, uh, typical uh, of the uh, uh, onset uh, of uh, bacteroides uh, fragilis so usually it's below the diaphragm bacteroides fragilis uh, infections uh, uh, depending uh, on the uh, uh, extent uh, and uh, 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 here <coughs> uh, spread uh, of the uh, intra uh, uh, abdominal uh, uh, here uh, uh, abscess uh, uh, fever uh, and widespread uh, findings uh, of an acute uh, uh, abdomen uh, may also be uh, seen in these types of uh, uh, infections. Also, some of the other uh, bacteria associated uh, with uh, anaerobes uh, that we call a branching type of uh, bacteria, uh, like the uh, actinomyces, and the disease we call it uh, actinomycosis, uh, and also we have the bacteria we call it nocardia, like nocardia asteroides those belong to what we call branching type uh, of bacteria uh, that we it can cause a, a, a skin types of infections so uh, uh, actinomyces is a chronic uh, uh, inflammatory uh, uh, condition here originating uh, in the uh, tissues uh, uh, adjacent uh, to uh, mucosal uh, uh, surfaces so uh, uh, near to the uh, skin, of course, uh, uh, by uh, anaerobic uh, a gram uh, positive uh, 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 here, uh, a branching type of bacilli. So when I say branching type of bacteria, uh, uh, then you have uh, to remember the names of those actinomyces, uh, nocardia, uh, for example, branching type uh, of uh, 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 bacteria very important to remember um, caused by uh, here anaerobic uh, a gram positive uh, a branching bacteria uh, of the uh, 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 genus actinomyces and the disease we call it actinomycosis uh, uh, that are present uh, in the uh, 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 here uh, 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 microbia uh, of the uh, uh, elementary tract. Uh, uh, disease uh, occurs uh, 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 then uh, 
following minor, usually following minor uh, a trauma. Uh, uh, this places uh, uh, here these uh, 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 bacteria uh, uh, below uh, uh, the uh, 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 mucosa. Below the uh, 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 mucosal uh, uh, barrier, so uh, they have to be anaerobic. Uh, the uh, lesions uh, then uh, uh, follow a slow burrowing uh, uh, here uh, source. Burrowing it means underneath the skin uh, with uh, uh, considerable uh, here in duration uh, and. Uh, uh, a branching uh, uh, sinuses. Uh, uh, eventually, uh, uh, here uh, uh, opening uh, uh, through the uh, skin. The exact uh, 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 here um, nature uh, it depend uh, on the uh, 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 organs uh, and. Uh, <coughs> and uh, of course uh, the uh, structures uh, uh, that are involved. So when we talk about the branching type of bacteria, uh, we are talking about uh, actinomyces and nocardia. And you should know the differences uh, between those two. One is uh, uh, this one, for example, the actinomyces strict anaerobe, uh, while for example, uh, the nocardia uh, they are a aerobic uh, type of uh, 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 bacteria. So uh, it is so important uh, uh, then to know these uh, uh, anaerobes, the actinomyces, and uh, the propionibacterium uh, uh, acne as well. And um, Uh, the uh, Peptostreptococcus, these are strict anaerobes, and one we call it mob mobilencus. All of these are strict uh, uh, anaerobes. And you should know the association between those and uh, the uh, chronic type of a, a, a wound uh, a, a infection. Uh, again, so the anaerobic, non-spore uh, uh, forming, here a gram-positive bacilli. This is very important to remember. We talk about the actinomyces and also the propioni uh, bacterium, like bac propioni bacterium acne, uh, and the mobilincus here, and also another one we call it bifidobacterium. This is uh, uh, eobacterium as well, and the lactobacillus, the gram-positive bacilli, lactobacillus, the one present in yogurt, lactobacillus acidophilus, and one we call it rothia, uh, for example. So when you do a gram stain and uh, you see a branching type of uh, bacteria, uh, for example, that is a gram-positive, uh, uh, then you have to think of uh, uh, these types of uh, uh, bacteria. Very important to remember. Another view here of the branching type uh, of uh, uh, bacteria, and usually those are uh, sensitive to uh, uh, penicillin. And sometimes uh, you can see uh, the uh, branching type of bacteria, they are coming out of uh, the colonies uh, as well, so easily uh, you can make the uh, diagnosis. So the uh, differences between the actinomyces and the nocardia, that actinomyces, they are strict anaerobes, while nocardia, they are aerobic uh, types of uh, bacteria. Both they are branching type of uh, uh, bacteria. Very important to differentiate between those. The nocardia, it's a weak uh, acid-fast uh, uh, 
uh, SLI looks like loss of mycobacterium tuberculosis also very important to remember also we do have the uh, uh, rhodococcus and um, the uh, 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 preptomyces also so what I say branching type of bacteria those names they have uh, to pop up in your uh, uh, mind uh, at least uh, 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 remember the actinomyces and the nucardia and, and differences between those very important so again uh, actinomycosis is a chronic inflammatory uh, condition uh, uh, originating in the tissues uh, adjacent to mucosal surfaces uh, uh, the uh, uh, lesions uh, uh, follow a uh, slow barrowing uh, here goes uh, uh, with uh, considerable uh, uh, here uh, induration and thickening around those uh, and uh, uh, here draining uh, uh, sinuses uh, uh, eventually uh, uh, here uh, opening uh, uh, through the uh, skin uh, the uh, exact uh, 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 nature uh, of uh, the exact nature it depend uh, on the uh, origin and the structures that is uh, involved uh, the um, uh, nocardiosis occurs uh, in uh, uh, two uh, major forms the first one is the pulmonary like those of mycobacterium here form uh, is uh, an uh, acute uh, uh, here uh, 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 bronchopneumonia uh, uh, here uh, with dyspnea and a shortness of breath uh, cough coughing uh, and uh, sputum uh, production a, uh, a cutaneous form this is the second form so pulmonary the first the second is cutaneous uh, form uh, uh, produces uh, localized uh, here pustular uh, in uh, uh, areas of uh, uh, trauma traumatic uh, for example inoculation uh, uh, usually uh, the exposed areas of the uh, skin uh, so uh, again you should know the differences uh, between nocardia uh, 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 and uh, uh, actinomyces that cause actinomycosis one is a strict anaerobe the actinomycosis while nocardia they are aerobic and both uh, they cause a, a chronic types of uh, uh, infections uh, in uh, general nocardia uh, could cause, uh, as said, uh, bronchopneumonia, like uh, uh, tuberculosis, and skin infections, uh, uh, as well uh, as uh, uh, here that of the uh, uh, actinomyces. And the uh, uh, actinomyces, uh, they form uh, what we call a sinus. Uh, that means uh, a, a cavity that will uh, open into the skin and we call that uh, based on their uh, uh, location uh, in our body like if it's closed uh, uh, into the neck we call it uh, uh, cervicofacial in between uh, here the uh, 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 neck and the uh, face cervicofacial uh, actinomycosis and opening where pus will come out uh, of the uh, skin uh, so uh, uh, they could be then between the uh, neck and the face cervical uh, facial or they could go even uh, into the uh, pelvis especially here associated with uh, 
uh, uh, intrauterine contraceptive uh, uh, devices. They could go to the uh, brain and, and cause uh, CNS uh, uh, manifestations. We call it CNS uh, actinomycosis. Very important to uh, remember uh, those. And how those they can be transmitted, the spread uh, of uh, uh, endogenous uh, to uh, 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 here uh, normal uh, sterile uh, areas in, in our body. Who is uh, usually at risk of being uh, uh, infected? Of course, here uh, persons uh, with poor. Uh, oral hygiene, oh, those are more uh, susceptible where bacteria will grow if they don't take good care of their oral cavity. And uh, persons uh, uh, undergoing uh, uh, oral uh, uh, therapy, for example, yeah, so they suppress uh, normal flora that they could sometimes minimize that. Um, trauma, uh, uh, here, uh, patients have injury and uh, women with intrauterine contraceptive uh, devices this is very common uh, to remember uh, the uh, uh, geography uh, that is uh, involved it's worldwide it's everywhere and um, uh, the modes of uh, uh, the uh, uh, control, how we can control that uh, is usually uh, uh, by uh, surgical debridement and cleaning uh, the area and preventing uh, the anaerobic or the tissue that causes uh, anaerobic uh, uh, environment. Um, uh, good oral uh, hygiene controls uh, here such types of an infection and um, uh, antibiotic uh, a prophylaxis uh, uh, necessary uh, when mouth or uh, uh, GI uh, a tract uh, is uh, penetrated, for example, or operated uh, upon, we have to give uh, uh, antibiotics prophylaxis. So again, uh, then uh, the actinomyces, uh, we have then uh, cervicofacial, uh, or even the chest we call thoracic, uh, actinomycosis or the abdomen we call it abdominal uh, actinomycosis or the one associated with intrauterine contraceptive device we call that pelvic uh, actinomycosis and finally uh, uh, here it could go to the central nervous system central uh, uh, here actinomycosis or central nervous system actinomycosis remember that actinomyces So you can see uh, these types of uh, uh, nodules that they form uh, the uh, colonies of uh, actinomyces, branching type of uh, bacteria that they come out uh, of the colonies uh, that you should suspect uh, the diagnosis of this uh, organism. So they could form uh, here uh, just uh, uh, chalk like uh, uh, chalk like uh, type of uh, uh, colonies of actinomyces as well as uh, the nocardia uh, the uh, same thing here uh, rough type of colonies associated with that another view of uh, actinomycosis uh, between uh, the neck and the uh, face cervicofacial we call that the neck and the cervicofacial type of uh, actinomycosis and of course uh, they could uh, colonize where you have foreign body in our body like the IUCD the intrauterine contraceptive uh, uh, device uh, very important to uh, uh, remember that So the other uh, uh, anaerobic uh, on organism that is associated with infection to the skin is the Propionibacterium acne and causes a condition we call it acne uh, 
vulgare. Så det är gram positiv, kaka basalaj och short rad. That usually causes infection that will block the sebaceous gland duct and and then causing here what we call a comedo. Is usually uh, transmitted uh, from an endogenous uh, site uh, to uh, uh, normally sterile area of our body. Uh, who is at risk of being infected? Teenagers, see, because of uh, the metabolic changes, hormonal changes uh, uh, in their uh, bodies. And patients with uh, Prostatic uh, uh, devices, uh, as we said, the intra uh, uh, here venous, uh, here lines, they could be uh, infected as well. And those can be uh, present uh, all over uh, uh, the world. Uh, those uh, anaerobes can be uh, treated with. Uh, uh, antibiotics, uh, oral uh, antibiotics, uh, like uh, for example erythromycin in, in, in general, or tetracyclines even. And if they are associated with a uh, foreign body, then they must be, uh, these foreign bodies, they have to be uh, uh, removed. This is a gram stain uh, showing uh, the uh, gram positive uh, cocobacilli of the uh, Propioni uh, bacterium acne in uh, uh, blood uh, cultures. So, this is uh, a uh, summary of uh, what we uh, were uh, talking about uh, here, showing the uh, anaerobic uh, branching type. Uh, of uh, 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 bacteria. They are gram positive uh, rods. Uh, they grow in uh, micro colonies. Uh, we call them uh, sulfur uh, granules, and we can use those uh, for diagnosis. Uh, displacement uh, uh, here uh, uh, from uh, 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 microbiota. Uh, here habitat uh, across uh, uh, here uh, uh, here uh, 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 porphyrus uh, uh, pro propharyngeal uh, or uh, intestinal uh, uh, mucosa uh, for example uh, you could be associated with that uh, uh, they uh, uh, reads to burrowing lesions under the uh, skin. Culture, uh, your diagnosis uh, from uh, draining uh, sinuses, uh, complicated uh, by uh, uh, here uh, uh, contaminating uh, 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 bacteria. The drug of choice that we use is penicillin uh, and other beta lactam. Uh, uh, antibiotics are effective uh, here uh, uh, treatment. Again, the nocardia, which is aerobic, and this is the difference between uh, uh, the uh, two. Uh, 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 nocardia, uh, it, it is uh, uh, aerobic. Uh, species uh, are uh, uh, very important, uh, gram positive. Uh, rod, which typically here uh, demonstrates uh, here acid fasting, a uh, uh, weak uh, acid fast that resembles uh, uh, tuberculosis. This is a very important uh, finding. Uh, they are present in soil uh, and other uh, 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 here in environmental uh, uh, sites. Uh, nucardiosis uh, occurs in uh, two major uh, forms, as we said, uh, the pulmonary uh, form uh, 
uh, is an um, uh, uh, here acute uh, 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 bronco in pneumonia uh, uh, with uh, uh, dyspnea and shortness of breath as well as cough cough uh, and uh, here sputum uh, production like those of tuberculosis uh, a uh, cutaneous form uh, produces uh, localized uh, pustular uh, pustules uh, in areas of intrauterine uh, contraceptive uh, uh, devices and uh, also in areas of uh, traumatic uh, uh, here uh, inoculation uh, uh, usually uh, the uh, exposed areas of the uh, skin uh, can be uh, involved with this uh, organism uh, branching type of bacteria the nocardia uh, 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 usually they are gram positive uh, so easily can be uh, uh, identified uh, in the lab the uh, treatment uh, uh, regimens uh, that we use to treat uh, those um, usually we use uh, the trimethoprim uh, sulfa uh, methoxazole they say it's uh, very uh, effective and also uh, uh, we use the trimethoprim sulfa uh, if those are uh, penicillin resistant right? then we start with penicillin if they show uh, resistant, then we move into trimethoprim sulfa. Or we could use the uh, newer uh, beta lactam uh, antibiotics and uh, another antibiotics like minocycline, uh, here the doxycycline, uh, or the uh, uh, erythromycin can be very, very effective. And uh, uh, even amikacin can be used. Very important point to remember that uh, uh, the uh, nocardia can show uh, here some acid fastness, although uh, here we should never use here anti-tuberculous uh, medications uh, for uh, uh, treatment. So the uh, anti-tuberculous uh, here agents as antifungal as well uh, agents like amphotericin B, methylene, uh, have no activity uh, against uh, nocardia at all. This is very important point to remember. So in summary, uh, aerobic, uh, a gram-positive uh, uh, bacterial uh, uh, rods, and uh, uh, weak acid fast, here this is uh, the nocardia, uh, 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 nocardia, uh, are uh, uh, common in dirt and in, in other uh, 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 environmental uh, 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 sites. Um, inhalation, like those mycobacterium here of nocardia asteroides, uh, here leads to pneumonia. Here, uh, uh, partic particularly, uh, uh, in uh, uh, immune compromised, usually they are very common immune compromised uh, patients. Uh, traumatic uh, uh, here inoculation, uh, typical for nocardia brasiliensis, for example, leads uh, to uh, 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 localized uh, 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 here uh, pustules and um, uh, here cultures. They uh, require uh, three to five days, so they are slow growers here to identify. Um, sulfamethoxazole and trimethoprim uh, and some uh, a newer beta-lactam antibiotics may be uh, effective, uh, but uh, susceptibility uh, is uh, variable. So we have to do the antibiotic susceptibility uh, testing for those. So again, in uh, 
uh, to repeat those uh, spontaneous uh, here uh, 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 strepto, uh, streptococcal uh, uh, gangrenous uh, myositis, so the streptococci group A uh, can sometimes uh, cause uh, what we call uh, uh, here the flesh-eating uh, uh, bacteria. It can cause uh, uh, myositis and biolecrosis. Uh, here, necrotizing fasciitis, fascia, group A beta hemolytic strip can cause that. And of course, the diagnosis is simply uh, by showing uh, the bacitracin susceptibility and treatment is usually with penicillin. Usually group A beta strip is universally known that is susceptible to penicillin. Oh, uh, uh, the um, uh, uh, the um, anaerobes uh, then that are associated with the infections like Clostridium perfringes and causes a disease called gas gangrene uh, is a uh, uh, spore uh, forming a, a gram positive uh, uh, rod uh, uh, commonly uh, uh, here found uh, in the uh, uh, intestine uh, and uh, uh, the environment as well. Uh, it, uh, 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 it produces a wide uh, uh, range of uh, uh, wound uh, and uh, uh, soft tissue uh, uh, infections. Very important to remember that. Uh, uh, many uh, which are uh, 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 no different uh, from those uh, caused by other opportunistic uh, bacteria. Uh, the uh, most uh, uh, here dreaded uh, of uh, these uh, gas uh, gangrene uh, uh, here uh, begins as a uh, wound uh, in infection uh, but uh, here uh, progresses uh, to shock and uh, uh, here death. Uh, in uh, a uh, matter of hours following that. Uh, another form of Clostridium perfringens caused uh, uh, disease is food poisoning, as well especially uh, eating meat dishes here, uh, is uh, characterized by this uh, diarrhea uh, without uh, 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 here uh, severe uh, or uh, 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 vomiting. And uh, vomiting without fever, sorry, without fever uh, or uh, 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 vomiting. These are very common uh, findings that you should uh, remember uh, with the Clostridium uh, perfringes. So those, as you can see, they are gram-positive uh, uh, rods, and uh, some uh, uh, they are uh, clear of uh, the uh, uh, gram stain, showing uh, like an air bubble that will uh, here indicate the presence of uh, spores here. Very important finding. So Clostridium perfringens, then, they can cause uh, gangrene through the different uh, uh, toxins that uh, they uh, uh, produce. They can cause bacteremia and myonecrosis, gas gangrene, and um, this is going to damage the soft tissue, uh, 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 here infections, cause cellulitis, for example, ascites, uh, food poisoning as well, uh, uh, here enteritis, um, and uh, uh, necro necro uh, 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 here uh, enteritis necroticans, uh, they call uh, uh, that, that they can cause necrosis uh, in the gastrointestinal tract. Uh, 
We have other species also uh, of uh, Clostridium, uh, like, uh, uh, for example, uh, uh, Clostridium tetani, that can cause tetanus as a disease, Clostridium uh, here botulinum, that causes botulism, food poisoning, and Clostridium difficile, from difficult to grow, pseudomembranous enterocolitis. Uh, here, those are very important to remember. But remember that Clostridium perfringes associate with gas gangrene uh, here. These are the uh, major uh, uh, virulent factors that are produced by this uh, organism, uh, like the uh, uh, alpha toxin or beta toxin, uh, or uh, the epsilon uh, toxin. And you should know uh, uh, the mechanism of action of those. The alpha is the most important. It's a phospholipase C, so it can cause uh, the phospholipids, damage to the phospholipids, uh, of the cytoplasmic membrane of uh, uh, cells. Here, for example, the uh, uh, beta toxin uh, uh, can cause uh, uh, necrotizing. Uh, here, uh, it induces uh, here uh, hyper uh, hypertension uh, by. A, a release of uh, 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 here uh, acetylcholine, so can cause um, here uh, that uh, the uh, 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 epsilon uh, toxin uh, increases uh, here uh <coughs> permeability uh, of. Uh, 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 gastrointestinal uh, uh, wool and uh, and so on uh, the iota toxin uh, for example uh, uh, here binary toxin we call that uh, uh, responsible uh, for uh, necrotizing uh, activity uh, and um, uh, uh, increased uh, uh, here uh, uh, vascular uh, 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 permeability, so we can cause edema associated uh, with uh, that. And then uh, finally here, uh, the enterotoxins associated with uh, the uh, diarrhea. Uh, alteration uh, of uh, the uh, uh, membrane uh, uh, permeability um, uh, uh, like for example uh, uh, the uh, uh, cytotoxins we call it or uh, enterotoxin uh, 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 diarrhea and then we have other toxins that is produced the delta uh, for for example Delta toxin uh, or uh, 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 the uh, 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 theta uh, toxin, kappa, and so on. And, and you should know uh, what are the mechanism of action of things like kappa. Uh, uh, here uh, it acts on collagen, so it's uh, collagenase or on gelatinase uh, as well, uh, and so on. So the clostridial then uh, myonecrosis, again, a clostridium uh, uh, here uh, perfringens uh, in 95% uh, uh, of uh, cases when we talk about uh, here uh, uh, myonecrosis. Uh, clostridium others can be associated with that, like clostridium uh, uh, novi, and Clostridium uh, uh, septicum, and Clostridium uh, histolyticum, and Clostridium uh, uh, phallix. They are gram-positive, non-motile uh, uh, rods. They are strict uh, anaerobes, and uh, usually they show uh, 
uh, here what we call a double zone of uh, uh, hemolysis and this is pathognomonic uh, for clostridium perfringes. Uh, lots of uh, carbon dioxide and hydrogen uh, is produced so this is why we call it uh, uh, gas gangrene. We have as we've seen many exotoxins that are produced from A to E and A, B, C, D, E uh, here. The most uh, known ones are the alpha toxin and the theta toxins. That's why it has a uh, double zone of hemolysis. So those usually they come from uh, uh, contaminated uh, uh, traumatic types of uh, wounds. So they will be uh, here uh, contaminated with clostridium perfringens. Uh, patient normal flora that's present in the stool for example uh, or uh, from soil they could get those uh, also uh, here uh, a, a fracture type of a wound uh, contaminated with dirt or so fracture bullets also soil war injuries very important to remember wood here poisoning food sorry food food poisoning with the clostridium perfringens so diarrhea uh, pathogenesis is due to the uh, toxin here yeah, the toxin causes the uh, myonecrosis clinical then manifestations has to do with the uh, uh, location of the uh, toxin and the formation uh, of the uh, gas and the damage uh, because of uh, the phospholipase that is uh, produced. Anaerobic cellulitis, well, and uh, endometritis, the ones that they put the uh, uh, here intrauterine contraceptive device associated with endometritis. So in uh, summary, then Clostridium perfringes uh, produces a wide range of uh, 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 wound and uh, soft tissue uh, uh, here uh, infection, uh, many of which are uh, 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 no uh, different uh, from those uh, uh, caused uh, by other uh, opportunistic bacteria. Bacteria. Uh, the uh, uh, most dreaded of these, maybe the most virulent or the most dirty or uh, ones is the gas gangrene. Uh, uh, here uh, a group uh, begins uh, as a wound uh, infection uh, but uh, uh, progresses uh, to shock that will follow uh, and uh, uh, then death in uh, a uh, matter uh, of hours. Uh, uh, another form of clostridium perfringens caused uh, uh, disease uh, like uh, food uh, poisoning uh, here characterized uh, uh, by uh, uh, diarrhea uh, without uh, uh, even with fever, without fever uh, or uh, 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 vomiting uh, uh, as well. So you can uh, see here then the formation of the uh, gas under the uh, skin and the formation form of what we call a crepitus. When you touch that, uh, you can feel uh, here the presence of air under the uh, skin. And that's why we call it uh, uh, gas gangrene. This is mainly hydrogen and uh, carbon uh, dioxide. And when you do uh, an X-ray, uh, here then you can see the air bubbles here between the tissues indicating the presence of uh, uh, lots of gas that's what we call it uh, uh, gas gangrene in all uh, uh, x-ray findings this is almost pathognomonic of gas gangrene so easily can be uh, diagnosed not just from uh, the clinical presentation uh, uh, alone 
uh, but from cultures as well. So we have uh, to culture it uh, uh, anaerobically and to show the double zone of hemolysis that is associated with that. Very important to see. And then we do uh, here what we call gas liquid chromatography uh, to see what are the fatty acids that are produced uh, by the uh, fermentation type of uh, the uh, reactions. So when um, uh, we culture uh, those, we have to culture them in and, uh, an anaerobic uh, environment in what we call the gas back system to create uh, 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 here carbon dioxide, uh, for example, and incubate them at uh, 35 degrees centigrade for a minimum of 48 hours, or in the uh, uh, here candle jar system uh, that gives you up to 3% of uh, oxygen uh, here, a candle jar, just you put a candle here till it turns off and so it uh, takes uh, most of the oxygen in the uh, jar. This is the old method. Now we have the anaerobic chamber and easily can uh, here incubate bacteria in anaerobic uh, environment. So the treatment and the prevention uh, is uh, to get rid of the anaerobic environment. Here, so we have to do an excision uh, of all the devitalized uh, uh, tissue, because this is the source of the anaerobic uh, uh, environment. Um, we call that debridement in surgery. Uh, and uh, also we flush the wound with high concentration of oxygen. So we call that hyperbaric oxygen uh, uh, treatment, oxygen under pressure. Here hyperbaric and high pressure uh, oxygen. Uh, and uh, uh, then we give a massive dose uh, of uh, beta-lactam antibiotics like uh, uh, cephalosporins or penicillins uh, to get rid of the bacteria that is left behind. And finally, we will be uh, talking about some uh, of the uh, parasites that are associated uh, uh, with um, uh, here uh, uh, muscle and uh, skin infections. Uh, we call it, uh, we have a worm. Uh, it's a, uh, a nematode, means a round worm. We call it uh, uh, here trichinella spiralis, spiralis and causes a condition. Uh, we call it uh, a trichinosis. And this worm, uh, is uh, 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 usually uh, uh, a, a present uh, in uh, 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 mammals like rodents and uh, hogs in general or uh, pigs. Uh, 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 and so uh, these worms are males and females. Uh, the male is about uh, here 1.5 uh, uh, millimeters. The female can get up to 3.5. Uh, uh, millimeters uh, and those usually they mate uh, in the uh, intestine and then the female produces uh, uh, here larvae uh, and the larvae uh, they can go uh, through the systemic circulation and end up uh, in the muscles and then they insist in the muscles so when an animal uh, eats uh, these uh, uh, rodents uh, or the hogs uh, or the uh, 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 pigs uh, meat for example uh, they eat the larva and and then it will uh, molt into the adult worm and the same thing male and female they uh, 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 mate and then they produce uh, larvae uh, and these larvae will go into the muscles and if anybody uh, eats uh, for example pork chops here uh, or pigs uh, meat that is uh, uncooked uh, then they go into the uh, intestine uh, and uh, uh, then after that, they come out, males and females, they mate, they can, and then they produce uh, uh, larvae. Uh, the same thing, they uh, disseminate uh, in the uh, uh, body and ends up uh, in the uh, forming cysts in uh, 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 muscles, usually in striated uh, muscles uh, of the uh, 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 body. And so they go into the muscle fibers and uh, 
and cause damage to the muscle fiber. So patients, they will develop weakness, uh, pain, and eosinophilia uh, associated uh, with that. Uh, and uh, then we have to take a biopsy and uh, uh, show uh, the, these uh, uh, larvae uh, and from their name, uh, trichinella spiralis, it's usually uh, spirals uh, in the uh, muscles. And so you can make uh, the uh, diagnosis uh, easily. And then we use uh, uh, antiparasitic infections, uh, mebendazole, for example, uh, in those uh, patients. So they will, the infection will be uh, uh, cleared. And the prevention, of course, is uh, to uh, uh, here uh, uh, cook these types of meats in the areas where they uh, eat uh, 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 here pig's meat or we call, they call it pork, pork chops, uh, and educate them how they can uh, uh, be uh, uh, infected. So again, this is the uh, life uh, cycle for those that they eat uh, pig's uh, meat or uh, pork, they call it uh, pork. It's uh, usually uh, undercooked uh, uh, meat. So they eat uh, the uh, uh, larva that uh, uh, goes into the intestine and then molt into the adult worm, males and females. They mate and then uh, they form more of larvae uh, and, and these larvae they go into muscles and form uh, cysts and uh, so on. So you can see these are uh, the uh, larvae, spiral shape of uh, uh, the uh, larva, and you can see them in uh, muscles uh, everywhere. And eosinophilia uh, is so common in those uh, types of uh, uh, patients. Again, when you do a biopsy, you can see uh, uh, here uh, some of the muscle fibers showing uh, uh, here the uh, worm. Uh, parts. So this will confirm the diagnosis uh, of uh, the disease we call it trichinosis and the worm trichinella spiralis.